JR Central, which operates the Tokaido Shinkansen, the high-speed train connecting Tokyo and Osaka, has made changes to one of its cars to be more useful to certain passengers. This is the office car. From October 2021, one of the 16 cars in the train set is now a dedicated office car for business travelers who want to work while riding the Shinkansen. During the pandemic, business trips decreased significantly and Shinkansen ridership dropped as well. JR Central introduced the office car as a way of bringing those passengers back. えっと、before the pandemic, it was common to see business travelers working on the Shinkansen while heading to their destination. However, Japanese train etiquette requires passengers to put their cell phones on silent mode and only make and receive calls from the car deck. However, this office car is dedicated especially for remote work. Phone calls and online meetings are welcome, and there is no need to worry about the other passengers. Passengers can also borrow small tables for their laptops and privacy shields to prevent other passengers from seeing their computer screens. JR East which operates the Tohoku, Joetsu, and Hokuriku Shinkansen, among others, also began using one car from each of its train sets as a Shinkansen office car on a trial basis from February 2021. JR East has been experimenting with partitions between the seats and noise-generating devices that make it difficult for neighboring passengers to hear other people's conversations to make a more secure working environment. そうですね。あの、やはりこうコロナ後についてもコロナ前までの水準にはあのま、ビジネス需要っていうのは登らないだろうと。時間と場所に取られない新しい働き方っていうのを移動中にも実現していきたいというところで今回取り組んでいます。
if each company has a dedicated office car or office space, that means that there is a demand for it, right, Dio? I think so. Actually, even before the pandemic, many passengers did work on Shinkansen trains with their laptops and their tablets and other devices. But now, some people want to talk a little bit over the net in addition to just working quietly in front of their screens. So, private compartment spaces on the trains would be a very good offering for them, I think. So, are companies decreasing the number of business trips now? I think so. Well, uh, one of the surveys I read said that about 80% of the companies did reduce business travel during the pandemic compared to before the pandemic. And that, I think, is giving the Japanese economy as a whole a very big impact. Hmm. So, on to recent years, companies have been focusing on mainly on providing service, but now they're branching into other areas, going to trains, hmm. renovating them, creating office spaces and boosting them. That sounds quite expensive, Dio. Is it hmm. worth it? Well, I'm not really sure, but we will see in the future. But uh, I can say that this is part of the railway company's efforts to you know, bring back the business people on the rails. All right. Next, let's see the efforts of a railway company who is evolving their stations into new working spaces. This is Tokyo Station, the gateway to Tokyo. Not only is there a shared workspace on the Shinkansen, but there are also booths like these here at Tokyo Station. You can reserve this one-person booth with your smartphone. The QR code you receive is the key to enter. Reservation is not required if a booth is available. QR code oh, there it is. Let's head inside. What's cozy? あの、最適なあの設備が揃っております。まずこういった机ですとか、あとWi-Fi、あと電源ですね。はい。電源、この作品も使ってですね。モニターも使っていただいていいですし。これってなんですか。はい、これはあのそうですね。換気用のファンにな
った方に合わせていろいろな席をお選びいただけるような形になっております。集中してデスクワークをしていただけるようなお席ですとか。あとはこちらはヘブンというふうに言うんですけれども<笑>、これすごいですね。居心地良さそうです。あ、そうですね。ソファーであの非常にリラックスしてお仕事をしていただけるような空間になっております。いかがですか？いやもう素晴らしいです。<笑>仕事したいかちょっと昼寝したいかちょっとわからないんですけど。<笑>でもちょっとの,あの睡眠であれば逆に仕事の集中力が上がるというふうに言われていますので,そうです15分だけ仮眠してっていうあの使われ方をされている方もいらっしゃいますね。あいやもうしたくなりますねちょっと<笑>居心地よさすぎて最高です。です<笑> Next is a more luxurious type of working space. ほほほほほわあ素晴らしいですね。ありがとうございます。This elegant space is for people who like working in comfort and luxury. The interior incorporates traditional Japanese design. なんかすごく居心地良いまたソファがありますね。ちょっと気分を変えて、はい、よりリラックスした形で、あのその時間をお過ごしいただけるという形になってます。ブースだとよりもう集中してその時間帯、あの一人でこうあのしごしごされる方が多いかなと思うんですけれども、ここは本当にリラックスをして、例えばまあちょっと読書をしていただくとかでもいいですし、いろいろなあの使い方をしていただけるかなと思っております。In addition, there are two rooms that can be used for in-person meetings. This luxurious working space was originally a waiting room. JR East also offers other types of working spaces at buildings near the stations and affiliated hotels. もともとの、えー、と発端はですね発案者が駅員で勤務をしていた時代にですね、あのー、駅のホームでこう携帯電話をしながらこうあの手帳に書いていたりとかホームでパソコンされていたりとかっていう方の姿を見てやはり、まあ、駅にそういう働く場を設ければいいのではないかというような発想から生まれております。あとはもう昨今、まあ、このコロナ禍でウェブ会議のニーズも上がってきているんですけれどもそういうあの個室の、えっと、誰にもそうセキュリティも保たれた空間でお仕事をされたいというようなニーズですとかさまざまな働き方の形っていうところが生まれてきていると思いましたのでそこのニーズに合わせてタイプをご用意しているという形になります。JR East's goal is to make their railway and non railway businesses, such as lifestyle services, a 50 50 split. JR East also plans to expand its working spaces from 504 locations to 1000 locations by March 2024. It was very interesting to see the different office types. So, we had the telephone booth types, but we also had really large, luxurious shared working spaces.、Mm. JR East is trying to meet the demands of different kinds of people using the station. And this is because the company aims to you know, make stations more functional、uh, according to what they say. Yes, JR East mentioned in the video that they're focusing right now on lifestyle as well as transportation, right? Yes, that's right. JR East has been worried about the future ridership decline, which was deemed inevitable because of the、uh, forecasted decrease of the Japanese population. And the company has said this for more than 10 years, I think. But、uh, recently they said that、uh, the crisis has been brought about. Um, something like 10 to 20 years earlier than anticipated. So, JR East、uh, is now pursuing the strategy to redevelop the stations which are located in the center of the city so that、uh, the stations can attract more people, not just passengers. And、um, this share spaces idea is actually、uh, one of the efforts、uh, that they're making towards this direction.、Mm, all right. 
Well, next, other private railway companies are also coming up with some clever ideas to create office spaces. Let's see what they are. Tokyo Metro, which operates nine subway lines and 180 stations in central Tokyo, also introduced working spaces. Tokyo Metro has been installing booths, developed in collaboration with the machine manufacturer at their station since February 2020. Tokyo Metro turned its attention to passengers with carry-on luggage. The company proposed the machine manufacturer develop larger booths. As a result, they created more spacious booths than other companies, allowing passengers to work comfortably with large luggage in tow. Tokyo Metro's booths are located inside stations in central Tokyo. Surrounded by office buildings, the station booths were created with business people traveling to attend meetings in mind. オフィス街というところに来るとなると到着の前からですね乗り込んでウェブミーティングなどでえっと打ち合わせを済ませた後目的地に行かれたりですとかあの隙間時間を使って追いで作業をしたりというふうなそういうお客様が多いというふうに
As you can see, there are desks and power outlets. Many business workers and rail fans come here for a change of pace, to work in a different environment. Other working spaces include the Ikimoku space. The tables are made from timber and recycled items salvaged from stations. At the outdoor themed space, you can take off your shoes and relax while working in a camping-like atmosphere. At the YS-11 space, you can work behind the flight deck of a YS-11 aircraft. And if you get tired, you can take a break in the break corner or have fun on the simulator. The museum temporarily closed at the end of February 2020 due to the pandemic. While the building with the exhibits reopened in June the same year, the second building, which was used for events and children's activities, remained closed until Tokyo Railways decided to try out these unique working spaces. For now, the working spaces will remain for one year. After that time, the company will consider whether to continue or reopen the museum as it was or find another use for the building, depending on the pandemic. Ah, those are some wonderful office space ideas. Just imagine working on a train inside a museum. Yes, it's really comfortable here. I think you should come here one day and try. Kati, it's really nice here. Comfortable here? Dio, don't tell me you're there right now. Yes, I am actually. I'm actually sitting inside MOHA 510 uh, of the museum that we have just seen in the video. I'm Hello. so jealous. Hello. Oh, I'm so jealous right now. <laughs> How is it, Dio? How is it? <laughs> well, uh, it's really, really comfortable. Uh, the wooden interior inside the train is really relaxing and the table is fine and uh, we have everything we need to work on. It's really perfect. Location is uh, fine, uh, really close to the station, and that's good too. Well, now that you're there, what's your opinion on the efforts of these companies? Well, the important thing about this is to think how this can add values to the core business of the railway company, which is to bring people from A to B on their trains. Mm. Now, you know, um, it is about getting back to basics, but um, the issue is how to get the synergy effect between uh, these two uh, businesses, the rail business and the shared office businesses. So um, that's one thing. And the other thing is that uh, we're using digital gadgets to realize the remote working and something like that. And these things evolve very quickly. And so we might see new services that we currently never imagined possible in the very near future. And so I do want to see uh, Japanese railway companies being involved in the development of such, de uh, such services and, and that will give them more chances in the future. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what the future might bring. Mm. Railway Topics On March 21st, JR Kyushu's tourist train Hayato no Kaze ended service. Many people came to say farewell. Hayato no Kaze started service 18 years ago in 2004. The train was popular for the beautiful scenery along the line and the historic station building, which had been in use for 120 years. Unfortunately, the pandemic caused ridership to decrease and the train service had to come to an end. 
the timber interior gives the train a warm, nostalgic feeling. This train is scheduled to be refurbished as a new tourist train in time for the opening of the Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen in September this year. On April 22nd, a hotel using a once popular sleeper train opened in Hokuto City in Hokkaido. The Sleeper Express Hokutose ran between Ueno Station in Tokyo and Sapporo Station in Hokkaido before ending service in 2015. Raising the funds through crowdfunding, local volunteers from Hokuto City in Hokkaido acquired two cars from JR Hokkaido in 2016. The two cars are now being used as a hotel. Inside is exactly the same as it was when Hokutose was in service. Guests can sleep on the bunk beds and enjoy the nostalgic atmosphere of a sleeper car train trip. On May 3rd, Nishikigawa Railway, which runs along the Nishiki River in Yamaguchi Prefecture, held a Junior Railroad Workers' Day event. Each of the 18 children who participated in the event received letters of appointment. A staff member then taught them how to do point and safety checks. Once they were on board, they experienced making the train announcements. The kids had a fun and unforgettable experience. 